All right, look back my channel. Oh, guys, I'm fine. Good day. So let's uh, get started with a 3C installation on a local machine. So uh, I have already logged in from my 3C account. What you need to do is to add a new system. If you have bring it up for the first time, you have to add a new system and then uh, select the self hosted or on promises uh, version. So I already have that. So I will go back to where the systems are. Okay, and click on install. And here we will be selecting a self hosted or on premises. Then you need to select that extension digits and the time zone. And here you will be selecting the platform. So we are doing that on Windows this time. So we have to select Windows and then it will download a program file on there. All right, it's done. So let's just install there. This installation is very simple. It's same like you install any software. You have to just uh, click on next and it will be installed in a couple of minutes now. All right, in the meantime, uh, let's get back to find out the key, pseudo key. Here it is. Let's copy it because this is the first thing we have to do once it's installed. It will ask us to enter that serial number. So here we go. It's installed already. Now it will ask us to use a uh, web browser or command line. So we will definitely be using a web browser. That's an easier way to complete the uh, settings. So we will be entering the key here. And then we have to create a new user. All right, guys, so this is a static IP. So in our case, we'll keep it static because that's a Windows server and we're using the startup one here. Now it will take a couple of minutes to probably in that uh, FQDN static case. Uh, I will connect SSL certificate with the uh, IP address. All right, so uh, let me tell you that this server is hosted in cloud. So, uh, and I'm just uh, doing a tutorial here, but if it's an in-house server, you need to allow ports on the firewall because as soon as this has been configured, you will see that some of the ports are dropped like uh, 5060, which is a SIP port. These ports are the, uh, sometimes these are blocked in your computer. You have to add the firewall rules uh, within the security settings on your computer to allow these, uh, so to allow 3CX to work. All right, guys, so we are back and uh, let me tell you that installation has been completed. So we will be configuring now basic settings. So let's give it a name. All right, so at the moment, I'm just allowing North America, but these are the destinations that you can allow where you want to make the calls. Now it's creating some database and PBX settings. It will take another couple of minutes to be ready. Okay, all right, guys. So now this is going to start. And so once it's installed, it will give you an option if you want to set up a new password or there's a default password which is already sent to your email. You can choose that one as well if you want to, but let me. Set a new one here. All right, now it will prompt you for the client login, but we need to have an access to Lightman login. So we will be using this hard user one pool and use the same logins that we just created. 
All right. So this is, this is installed now. This is how it looks like it's once it's installed. And as I told you that there are some firewall problems that you need to, to fix. And especially if you go to services sometime, you see that some services are stopped. Like uh, this Golflow server is not running. No, it's running, but it's not uh, set to run by default. And let me see if there is anything that's not running at the moment. This is stop. And let's just finish this test and we'll see whatever work needs to be done. So yeah, this is how we do that. In the meantime, uh, as soon as this has been fixed, so let me tell you. The next thing you can add, you can do is to add a new form. So you have to go to the extension, one provisioning, add a new form, then select the model number. Let's, for example, take it as and will the port PG, then you will enter a MAC address. And once you enter the MAC address, you can do an auto provisioning and uh, as well as the, if it's in the same uh, office, then same LAN network, then you can do, uh, you can use that, uh, that part here, like if you go there, you will see that currently there is just one network because we're not uh, doing it locally on a LAN network, but uh, if you have installed it in a local server and your phones are in the same network, you will see another network card here. So you can use that to uh, probably in the phones. So yeah, let's go back to the firewall and see what it's doing. And it looks good, at least on this server. But it really takes a couple of minutes to finish. Uh, the firewall test. As you can see that the firewall test has been successfully done. Services are good. So this was a basic installation and this is how you can add a new form to probably unit with in-house PBX system. And if you like this video, please uh, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, feel free to add your comments and I will be happy to help you out guys. Thank you very much and bye for now.